Hi, Timothy Unkert here. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the reverse bubble sort. In the previous video, I demonstrated uh, the typical bubble sort. But this time, what I'm going to do is we're going to create an array with random numbers in it. And then we're going to sort it in reverse order. Okay, I'm going to make my array 10 items again. So I'm going to create a constant item called size and set it equal to 10. And then I'm going to create my integer array and pass in the values when I initialize it. So I'm going to have 20, 2, 20, 1, 45, 65, 121, 199, 86, 44, and 12. We'll just check here. Yep, we got 10 items. Cool. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to create some integers. One is going to be an integer i that's going to be an index as we loop through the sorted array and print it out later on. The other, we're going to do a nested for loop as we did in the previous example. So I'm going to have an inner loop, an outer loop, and I have to have a temp variable to store uh, the variable in, in case we need to swap it, okay? So I'm gonna create my outer loop. So I'm gonna say for outer equal to zero, outer is less than size minus one, because the inner loop, we're gonna have uh, it one higher than the outer loop, and we're gonna compare the two values. And then I'm gonna say outer plus plus, and then um, I'm going to create my inner loop. So I'm going to say for inner equal to outer plus one. Uh, we still need the outer less than the size or the index of, sorry, the inner less than the size. We need the uh, index of each item in the array is one less than its actual position in the array. Okay, and then we're going to increase the inner loop each time through. So that's with that plus plus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare. So I'm going to say if the array with the outer index, which is one less than the inner, if that is less than the array with the inner index, uh, then what I'm going to do is I have to swap them because... Um, I want the higher numbers first. So I'm going to set my temporary variable equal to the item at the outer index. Then I'm going to set the uh, array item at the outer index equal to the array item at the inner index. And then I'm going to set the array item at the inner index equal to that temporary value that was stored in the temporary variable. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to then run a for loop with using i now. So I'm going to say for i equal to zero, i is less than the size of, uh, which is 10, the size of the array. And then we'll increment i up each time through the loop. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a print f, and we're printing an integer. So I'm going to do percentage g, then a tab just to space these out, and then I'm going to print the array at index i, and I'm going to put a semicolon on the end of that, and I'm going to print f and do a slash n, and then at the end. I'm going to return zero. Okay, so let me save that. And now I'm going to open up a terminal and we'll compile this. So I'm going to compile it with GCC and we'll do a reverse bubble sort.c and we'll output reverse bubble sort. And we've got an issue. Uh, oh, I typed the wrong thing. I meant to type uh, integer. So let's just replace that, okay? And sometimes it's good to leave the errors in to see that you make the errors. 
Okay, so now I'm going to compile it, and then I want to run it, and we have the number 199 first, then 121, 86, 65, 45, 44, 22, 20, 12, and 1. So it's sorted in reverse order. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did and you haven't subscribed and liked this video, please do that. Uh, also, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.